you know as black people we really need to build our own institutions whether our own schools decolonized schools our own systems whether it's a kasi economy or a kasi system where we just function for just the community there and start small then as time goes scale it up we really need to start our own businesses we really need to do this and we need to do this as soon as possible because according to Vusi Temawaya he's saying as South Africans black South Africans we can't afford to chase white people we can't afford to chase your one rupee as much as we wanna hate him disagree with him for whatever he stands for capitalism chasing him will not work in our favor but I, I want you guys to hear it for himself you will make your own conclusions you will share your comments this is what Vusi Tembawaya has to say if you chase away your hundred bit yeah as a good example who suffers the most sure because it's very it's very nice for us to laugh and clap hands and let's say we're leaving and the question is who does suffer the most and, and by the way i don't have to answer that question the sure. answer to that question is study history just go next door to zimbabwe and see what happens when you do that some and of if, the smarter sorry sorry and please. by the way and if you think we are i don't know different <laughs> we're not sure the average zimbabwean on a on a literacy level mm. you and i both will agree outshines the average south african 100%. because their education system is so good sure so what do you think happens if the impact is the same but the quality of education is not even the same and you know everything that's happened south of central africa people mm. migrate south where's our south mm. apartheid didn't lose apartheid won yeah <sighs> apartheid didn't lose not only did it won it's still winning the project of apartheid was not only about the exploitation of the many for the few it wasn't just about making black people believe they were inferior the more insidious project in apartheid its most successful outcome and i use the word successful for a lack of a better one so mm. don't get touched with that is that apartheid was there to convince black people that none amongst them was worth anything kungako mm. today isitha somtomnyam umtomnyam umuntu ozodila izinkampani yomtomnyam umtomnyam umuntu ozokuframe umtomnyam umuntu ozokufaka ejele ngenzondo umtomnyama umuntu ozokubamba ngenhliziyo yathi sobona ukuthi uyophele lapha sure ngumtomnyama to this day i am zwile right yesterday i played a clip it was an old clip of the leader of the vf plus the vf plus leader uh, uh, the current minister of correctional services he was explaining that it's not going to be easy for black people to take the land back from uh, from white people because they have vested interests in south africa so i want you to link this what i what i just said with, a, with what i'm about to say so according to what buti tembogoye is saying we can draw strength we can draw a uh, wisdom from what happened in zimbabwe that's what he's saying he's saying that if we chase these white people they are the ones who have businesses here they are the ones who have the most money invested in the market they are the ones who are hiring mostly south africans they are the ones who are owning the shops of course white people are not just talking about a white we're talking europeans a jewish people just white people you know like white in color we know it's different white people but you know what i'm saying so a collective of them we as black south africans chasing them is not going to help us it's only going to work against us because and in a way i tend to agree that's why when i began the video i was like we need to really start making our own things because let's say even we don't we don't chase these people they just decide to leave one day because maybe they're tired living with these black people always complaining they decide to leave 
all of them. It's going to be a hassle for us because we don't have our own institutions. We don't have our own big businesses. We don't have our own industries, whereby the industries is the state industries where we can rely on. Now we rely on all these private companies for jobs, all these private businesses for jobs, all these private a middleman, whether you want to buy food, you go to Uber Eat. It's a private company. Whatever you want to do, your favorite food, they will make D, they will KFC. It's private companies. We don't have black owned businesses or black owned enterprises or black owned institutions that are ready to service us when maybe these people decide to just leave one day because maybe. Uh, of racism or maybe of whatever how are we gonna sustain ourselves how are we gonna self-sustain we're gonna end up being like Zimbabwe because you see now with Zimbabwe but with Zimbabwe is a different situation because uh, Mugabe and Zanu PF they were brutal against the white people they were chasing the white farmers brutally so with violence taking back the land taking back so what they were doing in the International Court of Justice, they were violating human rights. So they had to be boycotted. They had to be placed sanctions in Zimbabwe by international corporations, the, the European unions, uh, America, USA, all of those things. So business was not allowed to be done with Zimbabwe because Zimbabwe was a violent country. But is it going to be the same with us? Should it get to that point where it end up being violent for black people to get their land? Will it ever get to that? Are black people ready for that? Are they ready for the aftermath of that? I don't think we are ready. I don't look. I don't think we are. Look, as much as I'm all for black people, black empowerment, black people must open their businesses. I can't be delusional with and, and just be reckless and say we don't need white people who must change them as much as we need them as much as they are racist to us as much as they don't even love us they don't love us in a way they play a major role in the economy they play a major role in our lives whether by the product you buy it's produced by them it's their companies your own rupert most of the product you use is your own rupert product so do you think the government of South Africa should go into competition with these private companies by creating our own product? Because we can create our own things, man. Our own traditional healers create our own medicines. Our own uh, traditional people create traditional things for us, man. Whether traditional food, traditional whatever. Our own grandmothers, our mothers, they can make clothes. So can't the government, with all the talent we have, all the skills we have, create an industrialization where we bring skills from our own people and create our own culture? And then the, our culture is and then our culture is backed by the state, and the state is backed by the skills of the people of our country. It's a thought, of course, it's an idea. I'm not saying the government of Ramaphosa will implement it, but it's a suggestion. Because what if these white people leave? We're going to suffer very bad. Very, very bad. We're going to suffer. So, <laughs> it is what it is. Just to create a discussion. It's an open discussion, of course. You can share your two cents. What do you think about this? And yeah, you let us know. In the meantime, it is what it is. Thank you very much.